Hello everyone, it's Farkad here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a prison trap using the target. The target is completely invulnerable to enemies, it cannot be destroyed, so you can use this wherever you want. How this works is that it allows cannibals to move into it, but not out of it, because the target works like a ramp. They're able to climb in, but cannot get out. And it's not just cannibals, even mutants can get caught in this. Once they're in, you can treat them however you want. And most of the time when you've got cannibals in there, they'll beat each other to death. <laughs> it's like a prison riot. And just to show you it is invulnerable, I place a drying rack here and they destroy it. Now, even if this does get patched and it becomes destructible, you'll still be able to just turn destruction mode off. And that way it saves your prison trap. Honestly, I think this is one of the best traps in the game because you can lead them in there and then you can focus on other things. First off, find an area where you want to place them. And then you just get the target out. And this is what I like to do. You don't need a big one. If you want to start with a small one, this is the best way to go. Just do what I'm doing. So you stand in the one spot and face it away from you. And then you place one. And then you move to your side and rotate it to that. Same again. I'm playing on creative mode and I've got mods installed so I can bring the enemies to test it. Once that's done, you just start filling the gaps. Like this, on each corner. And that's it. This small cage will hold a couple of mutants or about five cannibals. I've had about five or six in one of these. Though you could fit more, it starts to become a tight squeeze and they start killing each other before you can do really anything. And obviously the smaller it is, the harder it is to get them inside. And I've got god mode on, so no cheats here. When you first start, obviously hostilities are quite low, so you want to provoke them to come in. Sometimes that can be a pain, though when they're charging at you, you take full advantage of it. And once they're in, they cannot get out. So what I try to do is stand on the opposite side and taunt them to come in. So I'll shoot them with an arrow. Sometimes you don't need to. They cannot get out of there. And you can study their behavior, see how they go. Or you could just let them beat the crap out of each other. Now, this is a good place to practice with your headshots, I find. Or you can start torturing them. Yes, they drop teeth as well, so it's a good opportunity. Uh, don't use explosives. It will destroy the thing if you have building destruction mode off. Even had this idea for once you get them in there. I wonder if you could feed them. Drop some bodies down. <laughs> what if you could drop some limbs down as well? That's not going to work. It's a bit of a social experiment. This would be a good way to test your, your arrow damage if you're getting headshots or not. But yes, once you've got enough in there, as you can see, you can fit a lot. What you can do is move really close to them. Use a weapon like a, a turtle shell or something and block. And that way, They'll start coming for you and beating each other up. Now these don't work on cowmen. They are able to run in and out it with ease. So yes, don't trust the cowmen in this one. And obviously each one uses a log, four sticks and a blue paint. So you'll want to stock up on blueberries. And if you're not sure how to make blue paint, it's two blueberries and one sap. It's a bigger one I've got here. And I've got a lot of enemies around here, so this would be difficult to get them in. Another way you can do it is build a leaf trap. And if you don't want to get too close, that's okay. You can use fire arrows instead. And what you do, light the arrows, and it lights the trap and everything in there will cook. Lots of fun. <laughs> this is a torturous wet dream, I think. And if you're pissed off at the cannibals, I think this is a little bit of payback. Now, there are cases where the armsies can escape. Their triple attack can sometimes make them glitch over. All you'd have to do is just keep attacking them. Be a good way to test the damage of weapons as well. So you're going to be here forever. And yes, it's just about learning how the cannibals work and trying to get them to go inside. You need to make them angry enough to come at you. And remember, these are invulnerable to enemies. They're not invulnerable to trees falling on them or explosives or your attacks. So don't get too carried away. They are immune to the fire cannibals. They cannot damage them. 
and cowmen will just run right through them, as they do with just about everything else. Prison ride, if you will. If you built a wall, doing it this way, and put them on both sides, they'll jump through into the wall itself, and they won't be able to get out. But yes, I highly recommend you check this method out. This is excellent for practicing with your bow and arrow, your gun, or just a good trap. Just keep in mind, if you're going to build it on hills, it may not work because the elevation might be too high and they might be able to get out. But otherwise, from what you've seen, it's fairly foolproof. Though if you ask me, this is my new favorite trap. Unfortunately, you can't keep them as pets. Once you save an exit or sleep, I'm pretty sure they will despawn. Now, this works best on flat ground. I haven't tested it on too many surfaces. Though once they're in there, you can do whatever you want. You can shoot them with arrows, practice your headshots, or just allow them to beat each other to death. It's quite possible that if the cannibals kill each other and you don't kill them, it might lower the hostility. You don't know. This definitely is a lot of fun and I highly recommend you build it. I'm pretty sure this prison trap idea could be expanded. If you have any ideas of how this could be used, make sure you let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.